everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with the Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right guys, we are back with this edition of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. Guys, this is a special sixth question edition. Uh, so, um, before we get started, make sure that you guys enter the free giveaway, guys! Make sure you guys enter. Tommy, what are you going to do to enter? Well, you got to be a subscriber, and you got to tell us your favorite video. Easy. Easy. So easy, Call of Duty can do it, right, Pops? Yeah, but some of these right here don't know how to do it. Very simple to do. Hit that subscribe button. Tell us what your guys' favorite videos are that we do on the channel, and you guys are uh, entered. Yeah. Easy enough. What we got going on here is WWE No Way Out 2003. WWF Attitude Collection, the best of Survivor Series. And WWF Attitude Collection, WWF In Your House Unforgiven. We're going to be giving that away, well, giving these three away to three lucky subscribers. So make sure you guys enter so we can give this away yes. to you. And yes, guys, we will send these out to the winners. We don't... Uh, we don't say we're going to send some yeah, stuff out. We don't. Yeah, we always send, send so. stuff we get. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started with this All edition right. of five questions, guys. Uh, special six-parter. So here we go with the first question asked by Frankie Dinkus. Frankie Dinkus. 327. His uh, question is, favorite moment from your favorite wrestler? I.e., who my favorite wrestler is and my favorite moment. Yours. Yeah. yeah. Pops. Okay. Um, I'll go first. Go ahead. <clears throat> Easy enough. Uh, as you guys know, if you guys ever watch the channel, Shawn Michaels is my favorite wrestler of all time. And uh, I would have to say my favorite moment is uh, when he uh, when he beat Bret Hart at WrestleMania 12 and become uh, the uh, WWF champion. There you go. Told Bret to get the fuck out of his ring. Yeah. So fucking so fucking Bret and cry like a crybaby like he was. Uh, what's yours, Tommy? Um, favorite wrestler. Hmm. Now you that now you have multiple. Yeah. Uh, but uh, go ahead and name just one. Uh, name just one. Uh, CM Punk. CM Punk. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite CM Punk moment? This is for Nick Kurtz. Want to tell you what my favorite was? Was it? Was when he cashed in on Jeff Hardy and beat him. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yep. <coughs> I like that, Nick. Oh, I yeah. like you, Nick. <clears throat> uh, but that's my favorite right there. Pop's favorite wrestler of all time. Well, uh, as you guys have been watching, you should know that the the, the mind's edge. The best moment was him hopping and leaning in the ring. <laughs> yeah, that's a celebration. <laughs> the, the highest rated fucking th fucking show there was on there. Yeah. They they broke the fucking ratings when they did that. The uh, edge edge when he won the WWE Championship yep. the next night on Raw, he says that he's gonna have a live sex celebration. Uh, and, and he uh, was hitting that shit. Uh, granted, I don't think they were actually fucking, but, uh, you know. It was the highest rated show on Raw. Yeah. Uh, that the was, highest rated segment on Raw. Yeah. Uh, one of the most yes. high, highest rated segments. One of the most highest rated the segments. One, I, I wasn't the one doing it. If it been me, you all would have seen it. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I love to fuck lead it myself. Hot little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, guys. <laughs> we have a little fantasy warfare. Ah, fantasy. Also, best things. Damn, yes. <laughs> and all of them fucked that. You might yeah, all of them. Yeah, got, got, got two kids. Uh, uh, yeah, we got two kids together. The boss. Love it. Uh, he's doing I love the, it, too. He's doing the, he's doing the. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's right in the back of the head. You're a liar. All right. You do nothing. Yeah, Next you, question. You do a lot, motherfucker. <laughs> Next question, guys, is Fantasy Warfare. Fantasy Warfare. Now, these two have never wrestled. All right. Or at least not to my knowledge. Um, so let's go ahead and do a little Fantasy Warfare. All right. From TNQ Potter. Go check out TNQ Potter's channel. The King oh, yeah. of the Hills. The Deal Maker. Go check him out. Uh, the guy that, clout, that, that shouts at the clearance section That's just right. like we do. Damn right. Save money. That's right. You got to save that money. You got to save that bread. Yeah. Um... Go check out TN Coupon's channel. He'll teach you how to coupon, teach you how to save some money, get you guys on those deals, because he is the king of deals. That's right. Uh, who would win this match? You know, on this side, we got the rough and tough Bruiser Brody. And on this side, we have the man, the madman himself, 
Cactus Jack. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Bruiser Brody. Really? Yeah. Bruiser Brody over Cactus. Yeah. Why is that? Because Bruiser Brody's tougher. Think so? Yeah. In my opinion. I don't know, man. Uh, well, see, Cactus Jack, you know, I, I like, I like Mick. Don't get me wrong, but I don't tell him you're gonna be a Ric Flair and say it's no, a, he ain't no a, glorified <laughs> stuff. <man. laughs> Is he a glorified? No, stuff, no, man? I like Mick Foley, I do. But Bruiser Brody was a big tough guy. Okay, <clears throat> well, he had matches with Abdullah for God's sake, and they were bloody visible matches. Now, Cactus Jack, yeah, he had some bloody matches in Japan. And, King of the Death Match. Yeah, and. uh but I have to go with Bruiser Brody because one, here's why I have to go with Bruiser Brody. One, because if he don't like something he don't like, he'll just sit there in the ring. <laughs> Luger? Yep. <laughs> like you did the Luger? Not sell shit mm, and fucking walk out. <laughs> Luger, uh, Luger sitting there fighting him and fucking... <laughs> yep, no like sell that shit. Bruiser just you, fuck... see, you see Luger run like like a coward. Yeah, he goes, fuck this, he jumps over the yeah, gauge fuck and this. <laughs> but uh, I like Bruiser I'm going to have to go with Bruiser Brody. Pops, Bruiser uh, Brody, Cactus Jack. I'm going to have to go to Bruiser Brody, too. Uh, because, it, you know, uh, Mick, he kind of lost a little bit of my respect by doing a dick spot for Joe Ryan. And, uh, you I know, know Bruiser Brody would never uh, do that. Bruiser Brody, Bruiser Brody would have pulled his nuts out and showed it to him. Bruiser Brody would beat the fuck, uh, beat, beat the goddamn Johnny now, Holmes look like but, like but you see, But you see, that right here is the difference between, you know, back in the day, than, 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 you know, what Mick does. Now, now back in the day, you know, you know, it, it was territory days. You think it'd be a really brutal and bloody match? Oh, do, you, yeah. do, do I really think? Oh, that would be blood on both men. I, I'm not going to, I'm not sitting sit here and, and saying that Mick was now, a tough course, motherfucker. Now, Mick was tough. Now, now, of course, at this time, you know, we're going to be talking about them in their prime. Yeah. Or as, or as uh, Destiny Rose says, prime. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it would have been one, I'll say it would have been one fucking bloody war. Um, I would also have to go with Brody because Cactus is just too much of a nice guy. Yeah. You think he'll lose? <laughs> you think he'll beat Bruiser Brody? No. Cactus will be like, I'll, I'll, I'll let you beat me. <laughs> I'll do the job. Yeah, I'll do, no, that's how Cactus would be. Yeah. I'll do the job. I'll uh, do the it, job. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's like, like Dutch Mattel said, you know, uh, uh, that they asked that when they when they did that thing, you know, for bit for for bites on on, on dark Bruce, side of the yeah, road, Brody, the Brody story. You know, uh, he asked the the, the dude guy said, D "Did you ever face Brody?" No, I never did face Brody. Why? Brody beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> uh, so I, I I I'd go with Brody, uh, Brody as well, just because of uh, you know, Cactus don't give a shit about losing. No, <laughs> he never did. No, <laughs> uh, C Cactus Cactus just did what he did. And he was proud to do what do that. So I, I don't have nothing against it. To a, not, to a nicer guy, it wouldn't happen, right? Yeah. Let's go to the next question asked by Ryan Hadley. What's your opinion of uh, of of this fuck Orange Cassidy? Who asked this question? Ryan Hadley. Let me tell you, Ryan Hadley, what I think of fucking Orange Cassidy. I think he's a son of a bitch. <laughs> I think he's a blonde hair fucking piece of shit with his shitty buzz cut. <laughs> fuck him. He looks like Justin Bieber. Yes. And fuck his blue jeans. Yeah. Pete. Fuck this son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, he's a did, piece you, of fucking wrong. shit. Fuck this son of a my, my, my bitch. He's a piece of fucking shit. Has no business being in wrestling. If you guys watched him in the Casino Battle Royal. This fucking idiot. For fucking AEW. If you watch that trash AEW. You know, you know the greatest fucking promotion in the world. People say, "Yeah, right." Uh, my ass. <laughs> uh, my ass is more popular than fucking AEW. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Is your ass draw more than that? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about me personally. I could draw more money than fucking AEW. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> the wrestling YouTuber Tommy, you're gonna yeah. be the you're gonna be the lowly Virgil. <laughs> he's not making well, money. Well, now he's got a point. And, and He's got guys, the, the already pay, pay guys don't have goddamn talent in the world. And no. fucking this Orange Cassidy piece of shit is fucking doing fake kicks, these phony fucking soccer kicks, to no. t fucking Tommy Dreamer. And slapping people. And slapping people. And not even really. And doing that. this like it's some fucking, fucking dumbass. You know, fucking doing these fake slaps 
these fake punches like he's doing fucking rabbit punching like he's fucking like he's fucking the goddamn fucking Easter Bunny or some shit. These fucking rabbit punches. I I'd rather see the Easter Bunny at that point. I'd rather see the bunny from fucking WWE. <laughs> I know. I'd rather see the Easter Bunny from goddamn the APA Invitational. Yeah, I'd rather see him. At least he tried to work it. <laughs> and fucking this Orange Cassidy piece of shit. And then fucking he goes down and does a kip up with his pockets. What are you, fucking Mark Young over here? <laughs> you don't impress me. What the fuck is this shit? Like, this is trash. People are impressed by this fucking are, People are impressed with this Justin Bieber fucking looking like fucking schmuck. This piece of shit that has no business being in the wrestling business. Oh, did you see the clip online of him, like, uh... God, I hate wrestling nowadays, but... Uh, this is why I hate fucking wrestling! No, yes. in 2019, this is why I hate fucking pro wrestling. Because of people it's like trash. fucking... Did you see the one where, uh, he was... Like, he... Like, he... Like, he was facing some guy in a mask. I don't know who it was. But... Fucking Johnny Jabroni. How do yeah, you like that? and... He gets on top of him and he's swinging him like this and he goes to fucking sleep. Yeah, I seen that dumb Did shit. You see that? Oh, what is oh, this oh, shit? Is, that's not fucking wrestling. That's trash. What is this fucking? You gonna sing him a fucking lollipop while you're at there, mass mass jobber? God, I hate wrestling. I, I hate fucking wrestling. hate pro wrestling. It, I hate these are the cancer of pro wrestling. If you ask me, this is why fucking people don't take wrestling seriously. This is why fucking people don't like watching wrestling. And that's why people are embarrassed and ashamed to say I watch pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. Because of goddamn people like fucking, fucking Orange Cassidy, Butch Cassidy, whatever the fuck his name is, Bucky. He don't deserve to be in the goddamn wrestling business. Neither does Joey Ryan. Neither does fucking Kenny, fucking facial impression, no expression Omega. Neither does the fucking shitty fucking Generation Me fucking Young Bucks. Look like bootleg Hardy Boys. I'd rather take the Hardy Boys in 97 wearing the fucking fatigues. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Wearing the fucking plaid pants and shit like that. I want them. <laughs> I'd rather have them. Yeah. And fucking, these guys, these are the guys that's fucking killing professional wrestling. That's why people don't take it fucking seriously no more. Why don't you give us a kitty Omega face? Well, fuck, <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's easy. <laughs> I hate that motherfucker. Fuck his fucking blonde hair. Fucking bootleg Mr. Perfect hair. <laughs> I fucking hate Kenny Omega. I fucking hate Orange Cassidy. I hate every goddamn indie wrestler that fucking embarrasses professional wrestling, puts a fucking stench, a fucking shit disease in the motherfucker. And people want to know why wrestling's in the shape because and people, because, because and people, people want to don't want to go there. And, and they're blaming WWE for this. No, I blame the fucking indie wrestlers that, that fucking put the wrestling in the business that it's in right now. I don't blame WWE for it. I blame the fucking indie guys. Pops. Fuck Orange Cassidy. Fuck his fucking fucking Wrangler jeans. Fuck his fucking Levi's. Where the fuck he wears. He's a piece of shit and don't deserve to be in the wrestling business. Fuck you. And why don't you tweet that to fucking Orange Yeah, why don't you treat that to Orange Cassidy and call us hillbillies. <laughs> fuck you. Oh. Pops. Okay, let's, let's look at you right here. Wait. You, you, you got a motherfucker that there, see, people so impressed because he do a kick up. Uh, with his I'm, hands in his pockets. Uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of people do kick up. That's, that's not that's a surprise to me. Just like, well, nobody's done, done it with their hands in their pockets. So. I don't impress <laughs> I know. That's why I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck how he does it. Uh, it's a fucking kick up. Goddamn. Quick, quick, get your goddamn panty wet over it. It's I know. Fucking I don't give a fuck how he puts his fucking hands in his pockets. Uh, but here, you know, you got this motherfucker. Fake kicking. Fake kicking shit. Slap it. And, and the big thing of it is. He's almost like, you know... And the motherfucker weighs like a hundred and something pounds. You're he's a fucking he'll, be a, fuck. he'll be a fucking He's almost child. like, he's almost like, uh, you know, like a mother... Here, what's your talent? Oh, I can do a kick-up. What's your talent? Well, I can put my ass on the floor and scratch my ass like a no. dog. <laughs> he's on the same level as Mitch. Yeah, he is. Yeah, Mitch. He's Mitch Jr. <laughs> he is Mitch. Okay, okay. I, I, I put, I put you, you know what he looks like? A bootleg Steve yeah. Louie. <laughs> I put he, I, I put him. <laughs> At least Mitch. DJ Gabriel had a little bit of The Dick Man, the Young Bucks, all in the same category. And you know what I call it? Trash bagging. Trash bagging. Get now straight. notice, now notice, we didn't throw Jericho in there. Notice we didn't throw Cody in there. They're we didn't throw Dustin wrestlers. in there. They are actual professional wrestlers. And they say they're professional wrestlers. These guys are not professional they're wrestlers. Not professionals. They're fucking comedy busts. And I hate that shit. Money they're, don't draw comedy. You know, you know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wrestling don't draw comedy. They're more like. If you want to be a fucking comedy bust, fucking go on stage like Dolph Ziggler. 
That's right. They're more like to me. They lose all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like dog. Like, like the dog and Bugs Bunny. The dog always asking which way did they go? Which way did they go? Well, that right there is what go. I can tell you which way the rats is going. Fucking talk. And that's the reason why. And that's the reason why it's hard to be a wrestling fan. No, really. In and people ask. I can't watch. And I hate. And I get embarrassed and ashamed sometimes if they go. Uh, I see you got a wrestling shirt on. Do you like pro wrestling? I'm embarrassed to say I like pro wrestling nowadays. Mm -hmm. I get embarrassed because of that shit. Because of shit like this. And they'd be like, because, oh, because oh, do, you watch, the thing. do you watch Kenny Omega and all these guys? No, I don't watch that shit. Because, because this is the reason. It's because the people that put on good matches and get praised for having great fucking matches no. don't get recognized. No, no. what do you get recognized? Shit. Oh, Orange Cassidy gets five stars for putting his hands in his pockets. Son of a bitch! And fuck the guys that look like. Him. Yeah. Fucking Justin Bieber's junior because, fuck because, be, because the stupid shit is the stuff that ends up on fucking social media, and, and, and that's what they see. You yeah. know what? I said this right before. And I, then I, I said it to day, the kids. I, I said to the kids. They already know. If I'd been a professional wrestler, which God, I wish I would, because there'd been a lot of motherfuckers I'd have hurt. Because you see, I wouldn't have gave a fuck. Me? You gonna hit me? You better do it for real, because I'm gonna nail your goddamn ass, and I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Because I ain't faking. And I wouldn't be no fake either. I'd go in there and I meant to hurt the motherfucker. That's why I get far from every fucking promotion I run. But let me tell you something. Everybody he'll would be, know. He'll be everybody would know my fucking name. Yeah, don't hire this man. <laughs> you want to know why? Because I would beat the fuck out of little motherfuckers like you. And I could do it today. <laughs> right today. Next question. Let's go and get started. Cause I hate you goddamn man. dumb trash bagging motherfuckers. That's what they are. <laughs> you fucking ruin professional motherfucker. wrestling. They do. Well, let's go back to some traditional Yeah, wrestling. thank you. Because I'm tired of talking about these Next question. Idiots. Next question is asked by Cody Zimmerman. What's the best Triple H match? Best Triple H match? Granted, growing up, I didn't like Triple H. No, no I, I did either. not. I did not like Triple H. But Tommy, ever since me and you start going back and watching these pay-per-views from 2001 all the way to 2007, yeah. I've grown to actually appreciate and respect Triple H. Yes, he got dealt some shit. Yes, he did. Scott, Scott Steiner. Steiner. Scott Steiner. <laughs> he got dealt some shit. <laughs> Quad Nash. Yeah. He, he, I'm serious. Goldberg. Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to Billy, but... <laughs> Billy. Uh, but I like Goldberg. I'm just saying. But is there is there a best Triple H match? Now, of course, now of course, we're not gonna say, say, say Scott Steiner. No, 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 no. That'd be on the worst. <laughs> worst Triple H match is one of Steiner. Now, give us, give us. Ha! I'm, I'm the baddest son of a bitch who ever lived. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him. Uh, best Triple H match. I got mine. Go ahead. Go back and watch it. We, me, me and you watched it, Tommy. We did the review on the channel. Go back and watch WWE SummerSlam 2002. Triple H, uh, Triple H versus Shawn Michaels when Shawn Michaels returned uh, in that uh, street fight match. Uh, I got a Triple H match and it involved Shawn Michaels. No, no shock. Royal Rumble 2004 Last Man Standing match. Great match. Bloodiest shit. Great, bloodiest shit. Great fucking match. The saving grace of 04. In Royal Rumble for Dave Show one Bob Holly and Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> Poor Bob. Poor Bob. I, I like Bob Holly. I really do. Yeah. But I had to go with Royal Rumble 2004. Triple H versus Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship. Last man standing. Pops, is there a best Triple H match for you? Well, actually, really no. Uh, because because every Triple H match always ended up the same to me. Well, especially in 2003. Yeah, uh, uh, you know. But then again, those were the shitty yeah, ones that he yeah, wrestled. Nash, yeah, fucking it Steiner, was, Go it, Snyder. It, 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 you know, you you go back and just and just look at all of them. Every one of them had to carry that bloody carcass out of the fucking back <laughs> he, to the back. He's fucking pissing blood, goddamn. Yeah. The goddamn evolution's fucking killing yeah. yeah. his carcass to the back. But but he, I didn't like Triple H. Still don't like Triple H. But 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 you know you got to admire his ethics. I, I mean I mean he he, he put shit, shit that, and made really made it work, mm -hmm. and uh, it didn't matter. Who so that's why I said yeah. like me going back and watching some of his matches. Yeah. I mean I'm sitting there like I've, I've like I, I my whole Triple life I, I hated Triple H. I, I was H. not a Triple H fan. And, and here's the thing, you know I, I can I can watch Triple H's uh, wrestling, 
and I can tell who he's carrying and who he's working with. Mm. You can tell because when he's working with somebody that can actually work, do the work with them, you can see Triple H doesn't work as hard because he you doesn't have to. Yeah, because he's working with somebody yeah, that that when he's working really hard, you can tell it because he gets fucking wore out. Steiner. <laughs> Steiner yeah. Exactly. That much, I didn't know, no, 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 no one did that match. He was crawling. I'd be crawling to it. <laughs> so you don't know that was the best Triple H match. Nah, but, 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 you know, I never liked him. You still don't. But I do respect what he did. Next question asked by Patrick Mahoney. Or Maloney. Excuse me. Maloney. Okay. Uh, if you guys were wrestlers, now, guys, uh, yeah. now, granted, uh, we're not we wrestlers. We ain't no grips. We're not wrestlers. We're not yeah. Grimm's toy show here. We're not no fakes. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to play with toys. And we're, and we're not no trash bag wrestler. Yeah. Like he is. But if uh, I was, I'd be hurting people. I can guarantee well, you that. Well, 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 that's the thing, Pops, is we got two options, guys. Uh-huh. If we were professional wrestlers, and we get, we get one of two options that we had to go to, guys. Uh-huh. Option one, WCW in 2000. Oh, hell, God. God, God, no, 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 Or option two, the great ECW in 2006 and 2007. So either WCW 2000 and 2001. Yes. Or ECW 2006, 2007. I don't want to know. Patrick, do you want us to get over? Because it ain't happening. Um... So, We're going to get fucking buried. So get either, the job so already. These are the two picks. Either WCW in 2000-2001 or ECW in 2006-2007. Yes. Can I go ahead and go first? Don't question my heart. I'm still standing here. I'm going to ECW 06 and 07. Because I can't endure Vince Russo. So I'm going in 2006-2007 ECW. I'm going to try to be a big star there. Because they didn't have that many. <laughs> that, well, to be honest. And I'm going to try to carry that company on my back. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I don't think your back's strong enough to carry that company. But I'm going to try to my damnedest. I'm I going with ECW. Damn, see, I couldn't carry I'm that going, company. I'm going with ECW 2006 and 2007. Pops, what are you going with? WCW 2000, 2001, or ECW oh, okay. 2006, that's 2007? The thing I want to know is, it, it, that, that's the only people, that, that's the only promotions that would take me. Only promotions, right? Well, you hurt people when they say you can't hire this man. You got the photo on the wall. Uh, ben, I, I'm sorry, you know. If, if this right here was being true and everything, I, 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 and, and and your mother, I'd have to say, honey, I'm back home again. I hurt somebody. You got to choose. <laughs> you got to choose one. WCW 2000, 2001, or ECW 0607. Well, let's see. I, I, I really couldn't stand... Vince Russo put me in something that's that's really stupid and, and really and, and I I'd have to hurt him in a heartbeat. I'd slap his fucking teeth down his throat. ECW. You're going ECW. I go ECW. I'm going to. Don't question my heart. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to go with ECW as well. Shit, fucking. They got damn. They already have the fucking zombie on there and the vampire. You might you might as well make me the alien. I'll be the alien. Oh, I'll, I'll get caged by Sam. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be what yeah, Disco yeah. Inferno wanted to be in WCW. Yeah. He wanted to book the alien or Martians or whatever well, the fuck it was. Why don't you make me fucking the alien and I'll get fucking caged by fucking Sam? Yeah, I'd be like because, I, because we're on side. I'd, I'd, I'd be like hell, honey. I'm going to trash, but don't be in trash and face me and, 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 and be with Vince Russo any day. But I will say this, I did like fucking uh, No Question My Heart theme song for yes, ECW. But, uh, and guys, last question for this edition of Five Questions, the special six part. Uh, asked by MarkBoy316. Go check out his YouTube channel. Uh-huh. He does some great work. Um, it's a fuck, Mary kill question. Oh, man. Okay. We got Stacy Keebler. Uh-huh. Okay. Sherry Martell. Uh-huh. Okay. And Medusa, a.k.a. Uh, Alondra Blaze. Can I go ahead and go first? Go ahead. I'll kill Medusa. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I'll fuck uh, Sherry Martel. Yeah. And I'll marry Stacey Keebler. You know what? I'd go the same. Because uh, Medusa, to me, is just not attractive. I, I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, she has big tits. But that's it. Um, uh, Sherry Martel, I, I always thought she was pretty cute myself. Back in the day, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to me, I, 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 I especially when she was with Sean. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and then uh, Stacy Keebler, well, because she's the youngest, and 
I always had a little thing for Stacy myself. So, yeah, yeah. Pops. Now, I have to go the same too because uh, Medusa would, would just have to go. Uh, Sherry, I, I, I mean, I, I watched some of her old clips when she was really young. God damn, she was hot. She was banging back then. Uh, it, it, she it, was still hot even later on. Even later on. But uh, you know, Stacy, she's always wanted to fuck Stacy anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. You'll marry Stacy. I'd marry Stacy. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, we couldn't really. Yeah. <laughs> I, really I, I mean, I, I, I mean, that, that right there, that right there was was really a question with no brains. I had to do it. You, you know. Yeah, you, you, you had to go with a logical shit. No doubt. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Rub Twitter. The head. Rub the head. At Wrestle Rampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, don't forget to enter the free giveaway. We're free to giveaway, away. baby. So make sure you guys enter that. And, oh, did. Uh, well, you ain't going to win. Oh, I did it. It's for the subscribe. You, you're not even a subscriber, old bag. So I don't know. Oh, he said prescribers. <laughs> prescribers. Uh, I don't have to. So I the, work here. Hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you each and every day right here for the best damn wrestling YouTube channel. Somebody has to pay our host. Wrestling <laughs> Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you don't know wrestling.